My name is Jake and welcome to Can I Fix It? Today we have a Wii sensor bar. Basically what this thing is is you'll stick it under your TV and the Wiimote senses these infrared lights right here and uses that as a reference to where to point on your screen. Now this was given to me by my brother and what happened was the cable got caught in a vacuum, got yanked out and as you can see it's broken into three parts. We have this one part that's coming out of the sensor, we have the long cord which has been ripped and then this part which goes into the Wii. So we are going to be seeing if we can fix that cable and get this thing working again. So let's start by just looking at what we're dealing with. We'll look at this long wire here. There's two different wires that are in this thing. There's an orange one and a red one. What we'll be doing is just looking for that orange and red wire on all three of these and just trying to splice it all together and see if that makes it work. So first up, let's strip back these wires on all these different parts so that we can easily solder the wires back together. There we go. So we've separated the two wires, the red and the orange on all of these different parts. Now it should just be a matter of soldering them all together and we'll see if it works. And one thing I forgot to mention is I read online that these wires actually have a layer of insulation that you have to burn off with a lighter before you start soldering. And I'm not sure if that's this white stuff here or if it's just an invisible layer that we can't see, but we are gonna burn it with the lighter just before soldering just to make sure. So here we go. <laughs> okay, I think that burned it off. So I tried to solder these wires together and for whatever reason they would just not stick. And I think it has something to do with the fact that we burned off that insulation layer and there's still some black residue left. If you look at that, the wire seems a little bit black. So what I'm going to do is use some isopropyl alcohol and a toothbrush and see if I can't clean those wires so that I can get as clean a connection as possible. I'm not sure if that did anything, it's still looking pretty black, but you know what, it can't hurt, so I'm just gonna do it to the rest of them. So before I try to solder again, I'm just gonna try to twist the wires together and plug it into the Wii and see if it does anything. And I don't really remember which one is red and which one is orange, so we're just gonna guess. And if it doesn't work, we'll flip around one of the wires and see if that fixes it. All right, let's go plug it in and see if that works. So here it goes. This is the moment of truth. I have my brother's Wii set up and displaying on the TV right now. I have a controller connected, but obviously nothing is happening right now. I haven't plugged in the sensor bar yet. Now when I plug in the sensor bar, we should be able to tell right away if it's working or not. As I said at the beginning of this video, it uses infrared LEDs, which are invisible to the naked eye, but your phone camera or your laptop camera will actually pick it up as a nice purple color. So when we plug this in, we'll see if we see that purple color and we'll see if we can get the controller to work. There goes nothing. And look at that, we see the purple, which means that the infrared LEDs are working. Let's see if the controller works with it now. There we go, I see a cursor, and we are good to go. 
So because that's working so great, I don't think that I'm going to attempt to solder this because I don't need to. So all that's left to do now is to clean up these exposed wires and I'm just gonna do that with some electrical tape. I'll just try to tape them down as best I can um, to make this cord look clean. Again, there's probably a lot cleaner and more professional way of doing this, but this will work for our purposes. So we have those cleaned up as best we can. Let's plug it in one more time, make sure it's still working. And we've got the sensor bar working. So this has been another successful fix here on Can I Fix It? I'm Jake, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Fix-It videos.